Welcome everyone to round six of the Halo Racing Championship. We're here at the Quito Orbital Elevator for today's exciting race. So then, let's get to know this exciting track. We start on the start for the straight as always and go into turn one, a 90 degree corner and you, you can take it flat out provided you get the line right and that will go right through into turn two. That's quite dark in here. And we've seen quite a few cars crash into the walls overshooting the corner. Then you jump down the stairs into turn three, a 180 degree hairpin. There's a slight ramp going down. We haven't seen cars rolling and flipping off on it yet, <laughs> but we might see that today. Right, into turn four is a nice, um, another 90 degree corner just like turn one and two. It's the same complex as turn five as well. So turn one and two and turn four and five are the same, just like turn three and turn six, both hair pits. We're on our identical track today and we go through to complete the lap. So then let's have a look at the drivers who are racing for us today. So not as many drivers racing for us this week as there was last time out at Zanzibar. As you remember, we had all eight drivers. It's only five teams participating today, so let's get to beat them. And this could shake up the championship a bit, as green team cannot make it today. So, we start with the orange team, led by Ethan Cab 21 who's currently eight points behind the green team. If they finish fourth or higher today, they can take the lead in this championship. And there we go to the red team, led by DeMille's MY. Currently third in the championship, eight points behind the orange team, and close the bid quickly. And then we have the blue team, led by Emilu82. They haven't had the best starts this season, but as we approach the halfway point now, I think they're gonna start turning it around. And then we have the purple team, led by Oscar Wiggins. Last week we saw their win get robbed from them. Can they try and bring it back today? They've been pretty quick rounder over the practice sessions, so we're expecting so. Then we have the gold team, led by Cabagals the Samurai and Angie Golf. The gold team, yeah, they've been doing pretty good round here as well. All right, let's get this race underway. All right then, here we go. We see all the drivers standing, ready, waiting for the lights to go out. The lights start counting. Five red lights. And they're out. Who gets away first? It looks like Orange Team gets on their bike first. Do they get away? A couple of cars have gone backwards. It's Orange and Angie Golf has got on the back of EP Cal 21's bike. Purple Team referee, Blue, Red, and then Gold. On board with the Purple Team going into turn three. Just trading a little bit behind the Gold Team. You see Angie Golf has got on the back of EP Cal 21's bike there. Purple Team looking to dive it down the inside they go. Into the lead of this race. All right, Purple Team out in front. It's Gold Team behind. Not gold team, orange team behind. And then it is the red team. All right, so we're on board with the Mills and White. Currently sat in third position, looking to track down the orange team. They haven't had the best start. They had a little collision and went backwards at the start. But they seem to be getting back together now to chase down the orange team. It's gonna be a long run for them today. Turn four and five corner analysis. We see blue team going overhead. We see purple and gold go through. Gold hits off the grab lift and into the wall. Orange team, red team, they're all doing it pretty nicely. Is anyone else coming through? It is blue team. Let's have a look. They're through, nicely. Orange and gold, having a battle. Gold is fighting to stay on lap. Gold goes on, into the wall. Orange team gets the job done successfully. Round turn three. We've seen it all happening round turn three today. How's Orange team doing on the hair bids? Ooh, a little collision there with their back tire to the wall. See red team starting to close down the gap. Black purple team out in front by a massive margin now. Let's have a look at the blue team. Emilu82, as always, on the blue team's bike. Solid midfield car, like always. They're about to get lapped by the purple team. Just hold them up slightly, but they don't much longer as the purple team goes through the inside and gets the job done. We see gold team up here, just uh, bouncing off of a wall. That blue team take that corner quite wide there. They'll need to get more of an inside line if they wish to take that properly. Ooh, gold team, have a little... Well, I have a big collision actually with the arrow side on the wall. 
How are the drivers doing on turn three, I wonder? We see the first few come through now. Blue and gold just smashing into the wall. See orange go through, nice and tidy. Red team doing the same. Take the same line as orange. Just waiting for purple team. Purple team is out in front, so they've got a bigger margin. Here they come. Ooh, a little more, a bit more faster there, actually. Okay, then, this is interesting. It seems there's been a breach of rules by the gold team. Angie Elf has been on the back of Orange Team's bike for more than three uh, laps now. So, by the rules of the Halo Racing Championship, they are disqualifying Angie Elf from this race. So, the lap will be taken from Kamikaze's bike. As I say that, actually, I see Red Team in the background. They have closed up the gap to Orange massively now. We're over halfway in this race, and could, could we see a battle unfold here? Let's have a look at DeMille's MY, Red Team. They haven't won a race yet, but they've been, all, they've been on the podium since they have started every single race without fail. They are in third at the moment, as we see the Orange Team just up ahead. This is the one and only developing battle that we've got at the minute. It's been a quiet race, unusual today. Uh, pink Team, Green Team and Brown Team could make it, but we still have the majority with us. As I said, it's going to be a big... A game changer for Green Team should Orange Team hold his position at the moment. But it looks like actually Red Team might be ready to make a move. Just stay behind them, catching the slipstream. Blue Team put themselves in the mix here. Orange Team go out wide. Do they go out? Nope. They are holding it together for now. Blue Team are a bit of an obstacle for Red Team at the moment. He put himself on the outside, but manages to get the drive through turn one to get around the lapped car. Should stay on with this battle for a little bit longer because I think we're going to see something unfold here. Look, they're almost there. Going to go around the inside. The orange team crashed it into the, the wall. Red team go into second place. This is mega. All right, so we see the red team take second place off of the orange. It was a long fight for them. They do it just for a couple laps remaining. Let's have a quick look at Kamikaze. Oh, a little crash on to the pylon there on turn six, the final corner. Down the main straight he goes. Oh, he's hitting every boy in the books today. Up oh, and again. Yes, could there be like a aerodynamic problem with the mongoose? Because it's maybe a braking problem, in fact. Because it seems like he's having a bit of trouble, trouble keeping that car under control. But despite all of that, Purple Team, they've led from start to finish. It is Purple Team who win at the Quito Orbital Elevator. Okay then, so after that race, it is the purple team who won it. So well done to Oscar Wiggins, who won the short track of Orbs. As you remember last year, we were racing on the long track, so they had a bit of an update. I forgot to say about that. Anyway, let's have a look at the standings. After round six, things have been shaken up at the top. Orange team take the lead of this championship by two points to green team in second. So Orange pick up 10 points, putting them on 60. Green team pick up no points, or they remain on 58. Red team close the gap in now. It's six points between red and orange. They pick up 12 and sit on 54. We see a bit of a rivalry coming out between orange and red. And then it was, I forgot to say, purple. They picked up 16, so they're now drawn with pink on 36 with five points. Not five points, 36 points in fifth. <laughs> and then blue team jump back up the order into fourth, overtaking pink and purple into 40, with 42 points. Gold team close down the gap to brown on 24, brown team on 25. So the actual standings go orange, green, red, blue, pink and purple, brown, and then gold team. So then what a race that was. And I've got some exciting news for the end here. Round seven was cancelled a few weeks ago, but we found a replacement. Yes, for the first time ever, we'll be racing at Halo, on a Halo 4 track. We're racing in exile in two weeks, yeah, in two weeks time. We'll see you then. Bye for now.